what's up guys hope you're having an amazing day welcome back to the channel in today's video I'm going to be talking about a photo walk that I did with my friend Sean um, I've had this Canon VT for a while and I haven't been shooting it that much so I just thought why don't we go for a walk and shoot this camera so I brought with me my Canon VT and shot Fuji film 400 for the first time. I think um, Fuji has discontinued um, the Fuji film um, superior 400 and 200 that they used to make. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, I have heard that this new Fuji film 400 is made by Kodak. I could be wrong, but I think so. Um, I haven't shot this film before, and so I decided why not especially now that we cannot find code at gold to buy which is my favorite 35 film to shoot um not only do i like the look of it i also like to shoot 24 exposures instead of 36 so let's get into the video and um i hope you guys enjoy it So in this video, um, Sean and I decided to walk around downtown Columbus. Um, Sean had just got his um, Leica M3. So he brought with him a Leica M3. Uh, that was the first time he was shooting it. Um, and so I just decided to join him to try out his camera whilst I shoot my Canon VT.
one of my favorite shots um, on this walk was we were walking down an alley, um, walking towards, there was a Starbucks. There is a Starbucks in downtown Columbus that we both were thirsty. So we wanted to walk towards there and get something to drink. And whilst we were on our way to the Starbucks, we walked through this alley and I noticed this woman that looks like she was on, she was on a break from work. Um, she was smoking. And as soon as I saw her, I knew I wanted to get some portrait of her. So I walked to her and asked if I could make some portrait of her. Um, she asked why. And I said, you know, it's good to document people and one of the evidence of us existing is by making photos of us and she smiled and said oh sure why not um and so i took two photos of her the first one i just wanted to warm up i wanted her to warm up around me so i just told her you know continue doing what you were doing and just pretend i'm not even here so i took that photo and i'm glad i took the second one because on the second photo she looked up at me and I got the eye contact and so I took another shot and that is one of my favorite photos from the walk um, and then after that we walked towards Starbucks got some drink um, just chill out Sean had to change uh, film because he had finished the row that he had already put in his uh, M3 so I just like relaxed and just took some water break and then after that we just kind of walked back home um, so yeah that was that was the whole walk that we did um didn't didn't take too long um we didn't want to be out there it was kind of hot too so we didn't want to just be out there for too long that is the video i just wanted to share with you guys this walk um and how this film looks i think i struggle with the scanning a little bit as far as the colors is concerned uh, I'm still not used to the Fuji colors. I mean, I kind of have an idea of how they look, but I just still not familiar with it. And so I was struggling with it a little bit, trying to make it look like Portra or Kodak that I'm very used to. So the colors are not the greatest, but I, I just hope that uh, you guys enjoyed it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the photos. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, just wanted to share the photos with you guys and let you know that I'm going to start shooting more of the Canon VT. I have the 50mm 1.8 lens on it. Um, I'm hoping to find a new lens for it since now we've been adapting this lens on our Fuji S Pro 1 that I may or may not make a video on it. So uh, we will see. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on my Instagram, Edmund K. Boateng. I realized that in my previous videos, I've been saying Edmund underscore K. Boateng. Um, I created that account when I had lost my main account. And now that I have it back, that Edmund underscore K. Boateng has been deleted. So my main account that I lost for the last eight months, um, finally I got it back. I'll make a video talking about how I lost it and how I got it back. Uh, it was a very frustrating journey, but I'm glad I did have it back. So thanks for watching again, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video until then. Bye-bye.